Hey everybody, welcome back to another Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. I'm your host, HK1990, and this is HK1990 Gaming right here on YouTube. And we are exploring the secret of the antechamber. Fun. Incendium. Accio. Repairer. Lumos. Ah, I need to wake up that rune over there. Revenio. Uh, how do I wake it up? if I can hit the room with a spell. Really? Not surprising. Guards at the ready. I wasn't ready. Oh, well, that's convenient. That there. What? What is this magic? Where did I? Oh, I was, I was, I was not ready. Okay. Yeah, super magic. I remember using that on the troll now, but yeah. Anyway, I forgot about it. Rebellion. There's a box. a time thing Ooh, yeah, a little bit of a time mechanism there. this must be the way forward but to where yes to where indeed Okay. 
best keep my wits about me. Alright then. Action goggles. Oh! Alright, that makes me wonder if we can get that other one. He's got to, uh. Go backwards, I guess. So maybe it's hidden? Or maybe I just wasn't walking in the right spot. Getting lots of nice items. Let's, let's check out some of these items. I'm curious. I'm curious. Uh, did we get any... No. We got these cool, very better glasses. Ooh. Give me a real steampunk look. I kind of like it. Yeah, we'll go with that. Wand handles. Sure, we get that. Just a regular one handle. I'm gonna go with that one. I like that one. Yeah, that, was, that was kinda cool. It's a little, a little weird color, but that's, I'm fine with that. Alright. Uh, put this on. It's blue. I don't know if I like that. I guess I, I, guess I don't hate it. Um, yeah, we're just gonna here we go with no hat. All right, let's see. We got some scarves going on here. Ooh, I like that. It matches my hair. Uh, no trait applied. How do I apply traits? I'm sure we'll learn about that if we haven't already. Um, I like that green one. That green one looks kind of nice. Can't wear that one yet. Uh, it's a legendary crimson pattern robe. Level three, no trade applied, whatever that means. Then we got the uh, crimson winter coat. Oh, swanky! I like it. Kind of like it. Let's give me death vibes. Go into inventory really quick. Oh, we're already in there. All right, so I don't know how to do the trait thing. I guess we'll figure that out later. Looking, looking all awesome now. I have no fashion sense, in case you didn't know. Whoa! 
My fashion sense is probably zero. Let's see what is on. Okay. I guess we should get ready for a fight, huh? You want to fight? I got to fight. Boom, baby. He's down. Something. What's it gonna do? You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor McCaw. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad, especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year, I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganoff, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. 
And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we've never known of another who could. I don't understand, what are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morkanak. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Sebastian. Sniffing in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? Well, that was uh, definitely something. I hope Sebastian doesn't get in too much trouble. He seems like an alright kid. Not to mention, you know, he's, he's trying to help find help for his sister or whatnot. Aww, these are nice. Anyway, moving on. Dude, I look like Hugh Hefner up in here. Are you, you gonna play that loot of what? Ooh. It's a deal. Ah, come on. Hold anything for in this place. Screw. Screw. A magic buffering signal. Now, you know, Fig is gonna get so upset about this. He's gonna be, gonna be like. You should be doing that. You should go on your own. Blarity, 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 blarity. And to be fair, he, he really should have. I mean, Sebastian might get in trouble now. And we could have just waited. It wouldn't have hurt anything. I don't know what the rush was. Did I even get anything cool out of this? serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox to say the least. Unorthodox? It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Do that. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. Wait, you accessed the restricted section? But how? 
thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. pages seem to be missing it appears someone has got to the book before us or the person still i will need time to study what remains perhaps we can still salvage something useful that may take some time i wonder why it was here below hogwarts i think i know sir i saw two more memories where i found the book another pensive Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? They were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm, perhaps this book will explain. I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spellcasting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Alright. We have rewards. Challenge things. We got a top of the class scarf. Legendary cake. We have a cake? I love cakes. Uh, spectacles. Got some spectacles. I don't know where they're at, but we got them. Oh, you know what? I just remembered. It's gonna be like, uh, There we go, the Hogwarts Regalia Spectacles, I think. Ooh, scary man. and it matches the scarf and our hair but honestly I, I like this it's nice now where would this cape be that's that's the question ah legendary cape oh that does look dashing doesn't it that looks 
Looks nice. But I prefer this. Okay. Cool. Cool stuff. Lots of cool things happening. Oh, we got the top of the class scarf, too. We can look at that real quick. Just, just out of curiosity, you know? Um, dark arts, top of the class. Woo -woo. Oh, it's, it's even got the Slytherin thing, because it's the class. Nice, nice. Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Meet me at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Also, the training dummy is still available. I want to do that one. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Alright. Are we done? Are you, are you done with all that? I feel like you're trying to overload me. That's okay. Um, well, I guess we're going to be forced to do hers. Probably not forced, but... Okay. She's far away. We're going to do some other stuff first. Um, cross ones is always fun. Let's go do that one. Going to do some nice side quest here. That way when we fight a real boss, it's just going to be like, ba -doo, ba -doo, done. Plus, like, you know, fighting those night people were fun, but I think it was this. Incendium. That was... That was an obvious thing. Have I not been here before? How about this stuff? We've got rewards. Look at us go. We can get the Hogwarts Regalia hat. But you know we gotta look and see what that looks like. Time to wear a hat? I mean... No. It's, it's not time to wear a hat. Uh, <laughs> it'll have to be a cool hat, okay? I heard screaming. Maybe I'm not supposed to find it. They stopped screaming, so I guess they're okay now. <laughs> I got excited. Final round of cross ones ready. Big 
big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Yeah, let's get... Yes. Oh, we should have lost the let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. There's four of them. This is not fair. Okay, does not break through shields. Oh, okay, it does break through some ones. You want to bolt it down? numbers. Nelly, Nelly. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, pity that. in the school weren't enough competition, then perhaps you should consider transferring to Dernstrang. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Uh, okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Ooh. Uh, champion guard. That's that's neat. Me. The best duelist won, I suppose. I suppose indeed. Shame it's over. I was just getting started. Indeed. Alright then. Um that, that quest is done. Let's see, let's see. So we just have to avoid enemy attacks by dodge roll. Um, did not mean to go out. 
Oh, I gotta do... Ugh. Who's the dummy? dummy. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? Is he gonna attack back? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Right. Oh, okay, this one's all... <laughs> Excellent fall. That was cool. You gonna land or what, bro? That's a good one. I'll, I'll try to remember that one. Long combo there. Good one. Impressive wand work. I take to face you in a duel. Thanks, Lucan. You've been a great help. Oh, stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Even though you won the tournament already, I'm glad to see you haven't stopped training. Stay sharp, my friend. Hmm. So we skip that one. Let's go to herbology class. Herbology sounds fun. I want to learn about the herbs. Did I just reach level ten? I'm level ten, guys. You can't be beat, can you? I sure can't. Thanks to the plot armor and to respawns and saves. <laughs> Any skill I do have, it's, it's backed up by all the other stuff, so don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. This is my world, I'm the main character, I always win. Even when I lose, I come back to win. Why I keep trying to do that? You would think I'd learn by now. I prefer to study in the library. It's always much too loud in the common room. I'm avoiding our common room today. Ronan's testing on Accio, and students are summoning objects right and left. Nearly lost an eye to a rogue corpse. Did they say they found the girls necessary to be controls? Alright, so we haven't been over here, so I need to be on the lookout for things. Rebellion. Uh, see, I got a ping right off the bat. Seeing it. Oh, I definitely hear it. Rebellion. Right here. That's just some locks. Did you get your bitter root from Pippins, or did you pick it yourself? I'm desperately in need of some. I'd spend the entire day in Hulk like this. What's this? Hmm. Oh, collecting Disney leaves. I'd like oh. to go. Oh. 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 
mich an. Let's begin the quest. Oh, is this the teacher? Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, dear. Oh, here. You'll need these for today's class. Um, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Akio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Oh no, is this that crazy screaming plant? Now, everyone, grip the mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Man was just a bit mature. Now for our next task, we'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. Oh, of course you do. I'll, I'll work my way over there. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why, the very idea. I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. Most strange. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like mock grass. My friends! Oh, I can't talk to them. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. It wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Will they now? Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Niffler's fancy or roses? Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganwell potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Oh. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganwell potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find 
suggest that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Excellent. Biting plants. I love it already. I saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. All right. All right. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well. Oh. Thank you. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Eh. Go on. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. Let me collect them all first. Okay. Chopper. Oh my god. Get him. Oh, Mum down. Some of her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Oh, but to pick it back up. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Trust me, Leander. I was imagining it the entire time. You were? I mean, of course. You're, uh, not someone to be trifled with. I see that. Dogweed and Death Cap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants, too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we, uh, probably ought to head back to class. I think I made him nervous. <laughs> Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Collect things, lay around, of course. Rebellion. Oh, it's a lock anyway. Oh no. There we go. Let's return to Professor Garlic. Garlic. And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. Those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. To make anything grow, we must first understand it. That goes for plants as well as friendship. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the great hall. Incendium. Well, alrighty then. I think that is a great place to, uh... What are you up to now? You scared me. You scared me. <clears throat> as I was saying, 
think this is a great place to, uh, you know, end the episode. Feels like a natural stopping point at this point. And yeah, so like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. I've been your host, HK1990, and this is HK1990 Gaming right here on YouTube with another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Until next time, be ready to play. See ya.